These are the latest victims of opioid abuse. The FDA says addicts are hurting their pets on purpose to get their hands on painkillers. We have to kind of use our judgment. And if we get that kind of nagging feeling that this is maybe diverted, this is not going to the pet, that may be going to the owner, the owner may be selling it. Dr. Suzanne Colson at the South Care Animal Medical Center says this isn't something the clinic sees often, but she does recall one case where another veterinary clinic in the area alerted them to a dog owner going to different clinics for painkillers. They call this vet shopping. There was a um, client that came in with an older dog that was clearly arthritic. Arthritis is painful. We do have many dogs on some pain medications. Some of those are opiates and some of them are not. And so he was requesting a, an opiate form of a painkiller, um, which we did actually dispense. And it was a significant quantity. It was a big dog. And then we found out that he was going to multiple clinics in the area and doing the same thing. That's okay. The FDA lists warning signs for when a pet owner is potentially abusing opioids. They include suspect injuries in a new animal patient, asking for specific medications by name, asking for refills for lost or stolen medications, and if the pet owner is insistent in their request. While South Care staff watch for these signs, Dr. Colson says the clinic also follows the FDA's recommendation of using alternatives to opioids to manage a pet's pain. And unfortunately, we have animals in pain and we want to make sure we do what we can for them. So we try to use other non-opiate or habit-forming types of drugs. The FDA also urges veterinarians to have a safety plan in case they come across someone they believe has hurt an animal to get a hold of drugs. At Southcare Clinic, if there are signs of this, staff can report it to law enforcement, but they say, thankfully, they haven't needed to. I feel very responsible for making sure that I'm not contributing to, to the problems. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.